Descendants of the Ashaman Indians who helped build the mission in San Juan Capistrano more than two centuries ago are upset at the decision to close the old mission cemetery. Protesters gather in front of the mission to voice their frustration. A moratorium has been placed on future burials in the historic cemetery. It has been the burial place for mission Indians, ranch families, and other settlers for over 150 years. We are now at the point where we are taking a stand. We are tired of what is going on at our cemetery. We want our family members that are up here to be acknowledged and taken care of. Um, the executive director at the mission has decided that she doesn't want to take care of our cemetery. And it has really been disrespectful to our family members that are buried up here and to our families. We want to come up to a peaceful environment up here and um, respect our elders. You know, I as a little girl even had uh, the feelings then of how the diocese felt about our cemetery. We didn't have good feelings even when I was a little girl. After gathering signatures on a petition, the protesters peacefully carried their signs and chanted during a remembrance walk to the nearby Old Mission Cemetery, situated on a hill overlooking Ortega Highway. Members of the Ashiman tribe, also known by their Spanish name Juanino, expressed their anger at the decision. Once inside the cemetery, tribal members walked through the ground saying prayers, stopping at grave sites to pay respects, and comforting each other. Many generations of my family are buried on this hill. My family line represents the Cotas, the Uribes, the Garcias, the Niebleses, and the Yorbas. Our family tree goes back to Maria Bernarda Chigalia, who was baptized at the mission as a 46-year-old woman in 1778. And that's the start of our recorded history at the mission. On my grandmother's side, we're a pre-mission family. I am here on behalf of the historical families of San Juan Capistrano who demand their voices be heard in support of the cemetery, in support of the issues going on that need to be resolved as one, supporting everyone who is a part of San Juan, be them Juaneño, be them Native American, European, or otherwise. Ancestral support is very important. I hope that my being here today is shows other families as well, if not about being Juaneño, if about being committed, a friend, an ally. To us, it's a sacred site. We can't let go of that and we can't forget it. Our root, our heritage, who we are as mission families, who we are as Orange County pioneer families, families that have contributed to the historical well-being of this community, we're represented here today and we can't let go of this. You don't think something like this can happen, so never forget this place. Take your ancestors with you today when you walk out the gate. Take them in your heart. In the name of the Grandfather Creator, in the name of our elder brother Jesus, in the name of the one great Holy Spirit, we pray. Grandfather, look on us this day, whether they be from the Juanino Band and Mission Indians, the Ashma Nation. Look upon our historical families, our great Rancho families who are represented up here, our Bosco family, our early Spanish Hispanic settlers in this valley who are resting up here. We ask you, Grandfather Creator, do not turn away from us this day. Let your sun shine upon our faces. Keep the ancestors alive in our spirits and in our hearts, and let us never, ever forget them. Our future, Grandfather, is in your hands. With confidence, we leave it there. This is Linda Ivanoff reporting for Around and About Orange County News, outside the old Mission Cemetery, now closed in San Juan Capistrano.